this week on Buck Commander. So for the last two or three years, our boys have gone up to our place in Nebraska. Oh, guess what? There's another big body here. And another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. These bucks are in a rut. They're chasing around. And so you really have to have your head on a swivel because they can get on you from a long ways off in a hurry. Langy and I were the last ones in the camp. So I figured somebody had already gotten a deer. Oh. Oh, what a, oh, look at that. His name was Touch Tines. So from the outside, it looks like we're just a giant ball of hay. Nothing to fear there. What's wrong with hay? Hey, go ahead and get the old uh, the wheelchair guy to push you out front. I'm pretty sure if I'd have driven to Nebraska, it'd have been like 23 or 24 hours. Even I don't have time for that. So two short flights and a four-hour truck ride. Here we go. All right, man. I can see the terminal from where I'm at. All right, Shake a leg. You can see the terminal from where you were. Were you in a helicopter? It's in the briefcase. Yeah. So Grant and I are the first ones in camp, and we got the whole place all to ourselves. This reminds me of when I was going hunting as a kid. Share a room with my dad, get up early. It's not funny. Eat some Fruit Loops. It's kind of funny. That's all they had at the gas station last night. So I guess I'm on Grant's pick on list now, Jordan, with you. Because we like sweets. It's a small, it's a small crowd today. We got it. See now, he's, now short jokes. By the way, we got stuck bad coming in here. A whole slick tire excursion. Just found the bottom real fast. So. Uh, we got a little bit of a height to get out of here because we ain't got no cell service, so we can't call anybody to come pick us up. But that's just part of the adventure. It's not this big, though. They just passed him right up. We're just getting settled in, and we already have one of our shooters in front of us. I'm ready to go. Jordan? No, not enough camera light. Oh, by the way, there's walk in the other direction. How you doing? Still waiting. Jordan, I think it has some less. Yeah. It looks pretty good right there. I know it does, but I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Oh, did I mention, Jordan, you're fired. There he is. He's good. Good to your bow. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the touching tine buck. Well, we barely got started in Nebraska. Me and Tombo pulled a slick one and got in here ahead of Langy and Willie. We'll be here this afternoon, but as he's wont to do, Tombo, I mean, we're, we're probably 10, 15 minutes into legal shooting light on the first day. True Tombo fashion, he's already shot. 
That's just what he does. Yeah, I'm not surprised at all. Well, it's just after legal shooting light hours in Nebraska, and wouldn't you know it, bang! Tombo's already cracked one off. I hope he at least waited for a good one, a good buck. And uh, Hunter, his cameraman, is driving from eight hours away through the night just to be here to film. Uh, he'll be done. He can turn around and go back home. I got two rules. I don't wait until the last day and I don't eat tags. I can't be more happy, dude. It was worth two plane flights and a four-hour truck ride. I would do it twice on Sunday. It is Sunday. No, it's Monday. What is today? Who cares? Oh, what a deer, man. You know, as far as this Trigicon scope, uh, there was no doubt that up to 500 yards, I know exactly what to put it on. Right now, it's zeroed in. It's on zero. Uh, 200 yards is 0.4. 300 yards is 1.1 and at 500 yards is 1.7. So I mean, there's no excuses. What is dialed in as good as this gun is? As fired up as I am about shooting this buck, I can't help but feel bad about Hunter. Oh, Hunter, man, my bad. I, I said it in the text that me and you and Grant were on. I said, but what you know? What if I tag out the first morning? Hunter will have driven eight extra hours from Iowa just to come hug my neck. Just to congratulate you. Guess what? <laughs> Can't wait to see you, buddy. <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> He's a... oh. He takes up the whole bed. Yes. Nice work. Let's go make some pancakes. <laughs> Yeah. Did I'm you? Your shoulder. <laughs> hey Jordan. What's up? Did you see some deers? Catch any? You did? Already? Shut up. So I'm just his Uber? <laughs> God dang. I'm sorry. I knew it. I tried to hold him off. He said no. Oh, I'm good luck with that. <laughs> Not bad. I love Big H. Oh, he's so cool. Dang, Dude, he that out. He owned that field. Well, we got into a low-lying area. It's a harbinger of water. And we're driving basically an absolute anchor with fairly slick tires. Put some sticks under the tires and see if there's any way we can get some traction. Most likely we won't, so we'll walk back. But before we walk, we thought we'd at least try this. So that's what we're gonna do. GT scalds me for shooting early. I'm the one at camp with a monster A point. You're shoving sticks under your bald tires. You got me. Humble pie? Hey, enjoy that walk of shame. I'll see you at camp. This truck's been here so long, it's got trees growing out of the ground. Well, I'm gonna film you filming me, and then film them. I told Grant yesterday, I said, it's about time for some new shoes on this baby, huh? Oh yeah, man, I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer. Next thing you know, I don't know sure if they were deer hunting or bass fishing. Yes. Hey, at least I didn't slide off in a freaking river. I got stuck in Missouri once, and nobody laughed harder than Grant. <laughs> the look of 
fear and determination on his face is worth it all. Karma. Beep. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Uh oh. That was beautiful. If at first you don't succeed, try it. Don't do it from the other side. Would it be too much if I said he's anal retentive about his vehicles? Which is a good, I mean, it's a good quality. He takes care of his stuff, which I cannot say that. Why didn't y'all do that the first time? Redneck 101. Assess the situation. I've never hunted in Nebraska, but I knew one thing about it. I sure wasn't driving there. Destination is Ainsworth, Nebraska, but we had to have a little pit stop. Really, really heard there was good chili dogs in Salina and a toilet. <laughs> Some of that, son. <laughs> it just got dark in there. Willie always kills the lights when he's the first one out of the stall. Got him. Turn the lights out on you. Good thing I have my phone with me. So we finally get to Ainsworth, Nebraska, and Grant is there to pick us up at the airfield. You get stuck? To say the least. I was fixing to say. It looks like stuck. Oh, that's mud. Hey, that's mud from something. That's another vehicle's mud. Ah, that's what that is. Yep. Oh, yeah. Classic. 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 Langy and I were the last ones in the camp, so I figured somebody had already gotten a deer. Ah, Actually, I said 150. I had to open the gates, man. I won. He didn't even have a body. His <laughs> body separated from his head. Oh, what a Oh, look at that. that was his, his name was Touch Time. I renamed him. What's his name? Chris Cross. How does an eight get that big? Uh, Alpha. Alpha. Like, 13. Not, by not being around Tombo his whole life? 11. 12, 11. Tombo kicked us off with a really nice bug, and I am itching to get in the blind. Normally I'm the first one in the camp, but this time I'm stuck behind the eight ball, so it's time to get out there in the stand. 
Well, we have made it to Nebraska. My first time up here. We're hunting shooter buck, mature white-tailed deer. A good flight up here. Except we had to stop in Salina, Kansas. Blaney had to go to the bathroom. We wouldn't let him go on the plane, so. Good to be up here in Nebraska. I've been hearing stories about this place. I've seen dance videos. I've seen the, all the boys having fun, so. We flying up here to see if we can get us one of these big Nebraska corn husker, giant bodied, mature, white tail box. As Willie says, the JV got to bring the varsity along this time. Got Boss Hog coming up to check out. We finally killed enough big deer. Boss Hog decided to come up and check out and see what this place is all about. A little hay bale blind. So from the outside, it looks like we're just a giant ball of hay. Nothing to fear there. What's wrong with hay? Everybody loves hay. Here he comes. That's a monster ball. Man, we're hunting these big open alfalfa field and food sources and uh, these bucks are in a rut, they're chasing around and so you really have to have your head on a swivel because they can get on you from a long ways off in a hurry. The one thing I can tell you about hunting in Nebraska is you're gonna see deer coming from every direction, which we have. And finally, we saw a shooter coming from behind us. The good thing about the redneck hay bale blinds is that there's plenty of room to shift around in there, which we did a lot of, trying to get in position to make a shot at this buck. All Grant said to Josh was, you think I can shoot through that grass? Of course, Josh said, yeah. And then, pow. Well, you forgot to say, are you ready? I'm going to shoot him now. Not when they die where you can see them. You know, when you get a deer in a spot where you can make a good shot, you just get nervous about making sure you follow through on your part. We made the shot. Yes, I was antsy and shot quickly. But it was just awesome to see him fall down right there in our line of sight. You know, it feels like when you sit three or four days, three or four sits, it's still only been two days. It feels like a long time out here just because we've had such good luck. But you know it's just a matter of time. One of these bruisers is going to come barreling out. As soon as you look at him, you can just tell he was different composition than every other deer in the field. Big body buck, big bladed rack on this side. What a... Big, big deer. But awesome hunt up here. Rifle hunting. All our good buddies in camp, Langy, Tombo, Willie. I'm gonna load him up, pile him out of here. We'll be eating him for Thanksgiving some next week and uh, see what everybody else got. So, what a bruiser.